All right, what's up guys? Uh, first things first, I'm gonna be squinting because I don't have any sunglasses and it's bright as heck out here. Secondly, I'm not a professional. Um, you know, it's just how I do it. Um, I'm not saying your way's wrong. I'm not saying my way's right. I'm just saying it's how I do it. Uh, thirdly, um, I'm not a positive reinforcement trainer. That being said, I'm not an abusive trainer either. I think there's a fine line between a dog that respects you and a dog that fears you. A dog that respects you is going to want to work a whole lot harder for you than a dog that fears you. Um, I'm not a fear-driven person, so that's that. What we're going to be doing here is Athena. Um, she handles pretty good for Jade. Fortunately, Jade's working a lot right now. Um, 787P with it being uh, March. It's dark when she gets home, dark when she leaves. You can't really work with Athena too much, so I told her that I would take over training and that I would do my best to get her going until the weather straightens up, we get better weather, get longer days, and she can work with her when she gets off work. <clears throat> that being said, I'm starting from zero. I worked this dog one day, that was yesterday, I tried to film this, it was a cluster. The footage was, cra was crap, so scratching it, we're starting over, we'll work with her one day. Uh, we're gonna work on lead breaking. Um, she'll lead for Jade, she won't lead for me. Uh, I've never really fooled with her much. Um, so if you guys want a story on Athena, she's about six months old, she's red bone. Uh, let me know, I can do a story time with Jade. Uh, if you guys want a story time on any of our dogs, just let me know, we can do that. But that being said, we're going to take her on a walk. Um, I try to take a, a dog on a walk, whether it's a puppy or like a, like a eight week old puppy or say a six up to even a year old dog. Um, Hank, I had back in May, uh, last year uh, he was two when I got him and he knew nothing and we took him from knowing nothing to you know know nothing on his way into the dirt I should say uh, nicely um, I got him took him um, I wouldn't say I made him a, a coon dog but he uh, he went from no nothing to running and treating his own coon um, he he still had his quirks when I sold him but I sold him as a puppy price so that's what you get when you buy a puppy price dog um so she's about six months old we're gonna take her from basically she don't want to do nothing for me to we're gonna see what we can do we're gonna do a series on it um I'm gonna try to do every step of the way that being said it's March um our shootout season ended in January so it's going to be a little difficult to do and show some things um, but I'll do my best to explain it that best I can. So with that being said, I'm gonna go get her. We're gonna go for a walk and we're just gonna work on basic, um, basic handling. Uh, I take just a regular tree leads and I double it over. So it's about three foot long. Uh, I want a dog that stays right at my side, whether it's a coon dog, uh, a pet, whatever. I hate a dog that pulls and I hate a dog that gets out in front of me. I want a dog with me, not leading me. So that being said, we're gonna get Athena. And we're gonna go for a walk and we'll pick you guys up in a second. Oh. Oh. Alright, so we got her out. She's going absolutely nuts. She's jerking, she's lunging. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to keep her in control. Try to keep her moving the direction I wanna go. Um, I'm not gonna work on come on. I'm not gonna keep her, you know, right at my side. Like I like, but We'll keep her on track. Might let her drag me over into, the, into that field if she wants to. We'll point her the direction I want to go. We're gonna go the way I want to go. I mean, pretty basic. Kind of lead break any dog the same way. But I'll go for this walk. She's already settled down a little bit, but she's she's very hyper. She, I mean, she's the puppy. Uh, we're gonna walk around a little bit. Ah, right, leave it, leave it, and see if we can't get her to. Settle down a little bit, straighten out a little bit. We'll pick you up in a second. Come on. Leave it. Come on. Guys, the thing I want to mention too is if you're watching this video because you train the coonhound puppy. These dogs do everything with their nose. So, especially if they haven't been out of the kennel much or at all, all these new smells, you got to be patient with them. You know, it's easy to get frustrated everything she's already she's already leading better but it's easy to get frustrated you, know, you got a dog that's pulling and wanting to stop and sniff everything like that i 
first thing I teach them. And Jade, you're watching this. You're gonna you're gonna laugh because I got this from you. First thing I want to teach a dog from now on is leave it. So you use, you use this with Shadow, our German Shepherd, and it's like kind of like an out. Leave it. it just means, hey, no, basically, leave it. it. Means basically leave that alone. So I teach them that as soon as I start walking. Let's say I'm up this old holler. There's trash everywhere. They want to get into it. They see it. They think it's a toy. They smell whatever smells are on it. Leave it. Leave it. So I teach them. Teach them leave it. And uh, then uh, that's basically the foundation of our first first thing I do. Once I leave. Sometimes you got to be a little more firm with it. She gets. She must be. I'd say it's probably here. Passing right through here. Come on. Come on. She gets a little excited and she smells. Come on. She smells those smells, but she's doing pretty good. I'd say it's the second time ever ever walking for me. Sorry about this wind noise. It's windy today. Come on. Come on. Get over here. So it's a little bit of a cluster. It looks like we don't know what we're doing. People that don't realize she's, she's a very big dog. Be six months. She's probably sixty pounds. She's huge. She's very thick with three C's. Leave it. See, she's already picking up on on leave it. Just give her a little bit of a leave it. Give her a little bit of a pull. Not ripping her head off. Leave it. Leave it. Not ripping her head off, but I'm just telling her, you know, no, that's not not okay. Not safe. So leave it. We finish this walk and uh, pick y'all up at the house. As you can see, I've kind of tired her out. Like I said, she's not really the healthiest. <laughs> she's a little on the, the fluffy side, but she's not by any means overweight, like where it's a health concern, but she's got a lot of skin to grow into. So, But kind of tired her out. Just don't let her, I'm just not let her the whole time down through here. Uh, anytime she wants to stop and smell something, if I don't want her to stop smelling, I don't let her stop and smell it. Tell her to leave it and make her keep walking. So she's tired out. I'm tired. I'm fat too. So this is a little bit of a walk for me. Probably walked, I don't know, a quarter mile or so. So we got her where she's, she's handling better. And we're going to turn around and head back to the house. And she seems like she wants to, uh, wants to maybe work a track, keep smelling stuff. So I've got a, a roadkill coon I picked up two nights ago not the freshest but uh we're gonna see what we can't do about maybe she's assuming I mean, she's seen coon before she's in the intro mess with the coon but all right come back shootout season and one thing i did i do with all my dogs is like say sally treed one back in in um shootout season when she was having trouble coming off that lime or lickia first one she treed back for me i knock it out to her and i let her sleep with it let her keep it in her kennel overnight just let her have it at leave it let her have it and then the next night i gave it to the pups let them play with it chew with it they get excited when i see them now she kind of to me associates maybe not with food but coon is a reward makes them want to work for it a little better so hey get over here I try to keep her on my right side but We'll pick you up back at the house. Good girl. Good girl. Athena, come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Come here, Athena. Get a hold of it. Get a hold of it. Good girl. Good girl. Get a hold of it. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Athena, get a hold of it. Get a hold of it. Athena. Good girl. Good girl.